this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> Greetings, great champion called by grace. I am Fia. Circumstances have compelled my stay at the Round Table Hold. Great champion, would you allow me to hold you? But briefly, perhaps you might share with me some of your lively vigor and your stout-heartedness. Doing so will grant me the warmth of a champion, and you, I am sure, will bear a Balderkin's blessing. Do you think it vulgar, perhaps? Where I come from, it is a sacred act. Ah, my thanks, great champion. You are very warm. What you felt light up inside you was a Baldekin's blessing. Though it is but a fleeting thing, I am afraid. Come back to me, should you require another. I will take you in my arms as often as you need. again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Mm. Looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Ah, so you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Dee was telling me that he discovered the mark of the centipede. The centipede is an ancient symbol of the curse mark. As long as whoever finds and uses it is not nefarious by nature, then we may be able to form an alliance. If only I could speak to them in person, and if they were like you, all the better.
see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? The blessing is still aflame in your breast, dear. Would you like to be held regardless? Now, come closer. You are so very warm. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you, and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Then good day to you, my dear. You've met Garank, I take it. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. Well, what have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well, though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Fia, deathbed companion, hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our Lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our Lord will rise. The Lord of the many and the meek. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order? You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the Round Table Hold. But there is another Hallowbrand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, 
A hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it, before the time comes we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? business in mind to come all this way, though I have no memory of inking thee an invitation. No reason in particular thou claimest. Intriguing. Then mayhaps fate hath steered thee to this encounter. Hmm. Wilt thou enter into my service? I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago, and search now for the dark path that I might one day upend the whole of it, and rid the world of all that came before. Well, has that roused thy interest? I see. A choice well made. Thou art a rare sword. Not many would have accepted the offer, but I require as much of those under my command. I anticipate good work from thee. Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is, in my service, a half-woven warrior by the name of Blythe. I would have thee join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take from him the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G my war counselor, and Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them what advantage thou canst. I am sure the others will be doing just the same. was thee, not blithe it seemeth. Even in my slumber I sensed it. It is in thy possession, is it not? The hidden treasure of Nokron. My thanks. Finally all the pieces are in place. Soon must I begin my journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. Ah, but before I leave, I shall entrust thee with this. My thanks for thy sterling efforts. A strange gift, perhaps. But a rare sort such as thee would welcome it, I'm sure. I am certain now. Fate steered us to our first encounter. I must thank Torrent, too, for his part. You may leave now. It was but brief. But thou gavest me fine service. What is it? 
You may go. I too am to depart on a journey. Upon the dark path only I may tread. The other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead, and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. This is goodbye, my dear, but I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will, not the remains of one chosen for me, and I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion?
of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten whore. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. 